Thank you for choosing Community Learning Curriculum for your classroom. Welcome to the Cookie Jar Mystery. Lesson 8. Bloody Brilliant. Blood Types. To make the most of this lesson, it is recommended that you read your instructor's guide and thoroughly prepare before leading this activity with a group. Before beginning, get familiar with all the materials you will use in this activity. In this lesson, Students will learn about the ABO blood type system, the four main blood groups, and the eight blood types associated with it. Analyze and determine blood types using a simple lab test, and compare blood type results of the suspects with the blood found at the crime scene. Activity 1. Blood Testing Students will be using a blood tray with three wells to test the blood of each suspect. Place the three bottles of serum and the five blood sample bottles within easy reach. The blood in this activity is not real, but gloves are provided to simulate proper lab safety techniques for your students. Test one blood sample at a time. Add three drops of blood to each of the wells on the tray. Next, the students will add three drops of anti-A serum to well A, three drops of anti-B serum to well B, and three drops of anti-RH serum to the well labeled RH. Very carefully, they will stir the contents of the well with a clean toothpick. Remind students that it is very important not to cross-contaminate their samples while stirring. A clean toothpick needs to be used for each well. Analyze the tray results on a lined piece of paper. Agglutination, or clumping, in the blood sample is a positive test result. This example shows a positive test result for protein B. Note how the paper lines cannot be seen. Proteins A and RH are showing a negative result. Negative results are clear with no agglutination. Students will record their findings on the blood typing results page in the student book and compare the blood types of each suspect with the blood found at the crime scene. Thank you for watching Cookie Jar Mystery Lesson 8. For any questions, please consult our website at www.comlearning.com.